Now let's talk about how to solve a problem that asks us to place the missing parentheses in to make the equation true. Here the question says, place the missing parentheses to make the equation true. And the equation is 8 plus 12 divided by 5 minus 3 equals 14. Now, knowing that our order of operations is parentheses first, then multiplication and division together left to right, then addition and subtraction together left to right, we know that wherever we put a parenthesis set in, that's what we're going to do first in our equation. So what we're really asking here is which operation do we need to do first in order for our equation to equal 14? Let's go through each equation and see whether the placement of the parentheses makes our equation true or not. Here, we have 8 plus 12 in parentheses, so we're going to do that first. 8 plus 12 is 20. If we divide 20 by 5, we're going to get 4, and if we subtract 3 from it, we're going to end up with 1. That means that A is not our correct solution, because 1 is not the same as 14. Let's look at our second option. Here, we've put the parentheses around the 8 plus 12 divided by 5. This means that we're going to solve what's inside the parentheses first, and once we're inside those parentheses, we're going to divide first, because multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. So we start off by dividing 12 divided by 5. Now right away, I know that 12 divided by 5 is not going to come out to be a whole number. And since there isn't a decimal place anywhere else in my equation, I know I can cross this off right away. If I divide 12 by 5, my answer is not going to end up being 14. Now let's look at our third option, 8 plus, and then in parentheses, 12 divided by 5 minus 3. Again, here, my first operation is going to be dividing 12 by 5. If I divide 12 by 5, again, I'm going to end up with a decimal point, which is not in my answer, so this can't be the right solution either. Let's look at our fourth and final option. Here we've put our parentheses around the 5 minus 3. If we do this first, 5 minus 3 is 2. We've now done our parentheses, and we're going to move on to our second step of multiplication and division. The division operation is here, so we'll have 12 divided by 2. Now 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now we've done our second step. Our third step is to do addition and subtraction. This leaves our 8 plus 6, which is equal to 14, which is our correct solution. So D is the correct solution for where we should put the missing parentheses to make our equation true.